Welcome back, my friends. Welcome to another lecture here. What we're going to do, um, we have a problem now. When we start deleting things, our files or uh, file that we upload, in our case, they're images. So our images will stay up in our folder, right? So if you go here in the storage uploads, if you refresh, actually, you will see that we have one, two, three, and the for the fourth post, we have the default. So we have one, two, three, and one is default. I think this one is default. Right, there is, yeah, they're saying no post without image. Now, what I want to do is, I'm not gonna just delete the default one, but, because I'm not gonna have it anymore, I just want you to close everything first that you have. And let's leave this storage loads. And just refresh everything once more. Now we're gonna go to the controllers, and our controller is a uh, post controller. There we are having the destroy method, right? So in our destroy method, we actually finding the post and we delete it. But now we need to find actually the file if there is a file or image. So what we can do here, we can say I'm just gonna comment this one first. Or no, I'm just gonna comment this too, because I don't want to delete anything, just because we're gonna test things before. Now, I just want to grab the image that we do have, and that will be post image, right? Now, if I dime dump, I will have the image. So when I click delete, uh, let's go to the dashboard in view post, and let's delete this one. Now I do have that image, and that image is actually here. Which one was it? Laravel. So 134, 34, Laravel. Very good. So 15822, that's mine. Yours will be definitely different. So don't be confused by the numbers I have. Now, uh, what we can do is I can specify the path that I have that goes to the image. So I'm gonna say storage slash uploads and slash again and I'm gonna concatenate now with a dot. This is how you concatenate things. So if I go refresh now I will have storage uploads and by the way we need one more slash in front. So now I have the actual path to my uh, to my folder but your, if yours is different you should change this now I'm gonna use something here that most of you guys will start using is I'm gonna use this public path oops but the thing is that here for example I will say path I need the full path and I will say public path and without that in front so now I'm just not, not gonna dine dump here this one. Or actually we can dine dump this public path. And I'm just gonna concatenate with the image. Now let's see what's happening. Now you will see something strange. I have C slash exam, but I have the forward slash and the backward slash. So if you see this in your part, this is not how we can um, find the file. So actually our is located in my in my project is located exam hdocs intro public and it needs to continue like that to go to the storage uploads in this in order to find it. Now if I do whatever if I want to try to say if file exists with this path I will not be able to do it. Now how we can change this so there is one function called string. So if you see this, then you can do it. Otherwise, if you see like your, you will see in a moment when we change it, it should be with forward slash. Now there is a function called string and um, that's string replace. So what I'm going to do, I'm just gonna replace what? I'm going to replace this backward slash with uh, forward slash and the third parameter will be I will just paste the public path now 
let's see. So what I'm doing, I'm just replacing this one, escaping one, and I'm just replacing with forward slash. So I just want to see C uh, column forward slash Zam forward slash. So I just want to see this pattern over here. So let's refresh and see if this change. Here it is. This changed my path. Now, if I go like if, so I'm just gonna comment this one. So if I go if, if file, so I'm just gonna if file exists, what's giving me? I don't know what's giving me that one. If file exists and I can just say path dot image, so I'm using both this image that I, I need to specify by myself in the path. So first goes path, then image. So if that file exists, I will just say return file found else return file file not not found. Uh, just for testing. So now I'm just gonna we have done dump commented. Now the file should be there in file found. Okay, let's see if I change double S here. The file will be not found. Exactly. So our thing, our logic is working so far. So file is found. So what we can do, I can we need to comment this one. Comment this is for testing purposes here. And we don't need this by the way. Now here I'm just gonna Cut this from here, put it there. I'm just gonna select that. I'm comment that one. Okay. So, what we are doing, we are saying post delete, but first we will say unlink. Unlink, and what's, what's with this forward slash? I have no idea today what's happening. So, I can unlink the path and the image. First, I'm gonna do that, and after that, I'm just gonna do this one. Otherwise, if the image is not found, I'm just gonna perform normal, normal deleting, right? So that's pretty much it. Let's test it out. I'm just gonna go back, refresh. So I have this post body, I have Laravel this, and I have it here, Laravel. So. Let's see if that will, will, will go will be gone in a minute, in a second. So I'm just gonna go delete post. Here it is, post deleted. I don't see it here. I don't see it here. It, I should not be okay. I need to refresh probably. So Laravel, it's not here. That's awesome. So this is how you can unlink uh, your path and image. So first we are finding if it exists. Then we unlink it after that. Otherwise, we will just perform normal deletion. Also, here we are loading the post image path to our storage uploads. Maybe yours will be different. And here, because I have a problem with forwards and backward slash, I've done string replace and that's how I fix this problem. So if you have this problem, do this. If you don't have it, just check if the, your file is exist, right? Now, thank you very much and I hope you enjoyed this lecture. So see you in the next one, bye.